Hello, hello. How are you? Hello. Hi, doing good. How are you? <laughs> good, very good. In, in Bobby? Oh, Bobby? Bobby is <laughs> asleep right now. Asleep Thank now. God. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Asleep. No. When my in-laws, though, when my mother-in-law or my father-in-law come uh -huh. Uh -huh. back from whatatever they are, I don't know where they're at, um, uh -huh. he's going to make a lot of noise. So we'll see if that happens. Really? Yep. Because he, he's happy. It is, it is happy. Yeah, he's happy. He's happy that they're here, right? He's uh -huh. happy that they're, that they're home. So, yeah. Okay. Good, good. How are you? Hi. Good, very good. I, I, I have a, a, a little pet. It's a little pet because it's a, a I don't remember the name, but it's a, I am French, French food, like a French food. Ah, uh, that's yeah. cute. That's cute. Yes. But it's, it's very noisy. Oh, yeah, my I God. bet. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, the, the, they're very small, but they're very, I mean, they have a lot of energy. Right. Yes. Yes. Of course. Yes. A lot of energy. Yep. So Bobby, he really. Um. Let me show you what Bobby uh -huh. looks uh -huh. like. Um, he's very chill usually, but he just gets oh, excited oh. from time to time. I am going to okay. turn off my camera. Okay. Because I think we are having some connection issues again. Mm -hmm. Okay. But let me show you what Bobby looks like. Uh huh. This is Bobby. This is how he looks like, kind of like this. So this is Bobby. So he's a big dog, right? Ah! Oh, wow. <gasps> yeah. He, but I, how do you say Rasa? What kind of? Um, he's an Airedale Terrier. Mm. Oh. This is looks like. uh, yeah, yes, but he's pretty. Yeah, so he's really mm -hmm. big and he's really loud. Uh, <laughs> but he's nice. He's chill most of the time. Most of okay. the time. Uh, how old is he? Uh, how old is he? I think he is seven right now. I think he just seven turned seven. Huh? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Is the same is uh the name is um eh? Tommy. <laughs> nice. My my dog is uh, the name of my dog is, is Tommy is like a seven no eight years old. Ah uh, okay so almost the same age. Hey, but it's beautiful. <laughs> I like it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. All righty. So hello, everyone. Good evening to everyone. Good I evening, see. Hi, Francisco. I see that we are eight people now. Thank you, everyone, for hey, joining. Hey, Francisco appeared. Yesterday, what happened, Francisco? Yes. <laughs> Uh, yesterday, I have a um, the throat pain in the throat. Uh, yeah, because uh, I have COVID uh, 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 two week two weeks ago, but um, the symptoms mm -hmm. uh, long. Uh, Still, I have the, oh, okay. the, a little bit of flu. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, yes. okay, okay. So you're still, you're but still today, feeling you like feel the sim symptoms of it, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, but uh, uh, tomorrow I will visit uh, my doctor. Mm -hmm. Because it's not uh, normal, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. It's, yeah. it's been going it's on for too long. Check it. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I uh, trust uh, the medicine help me. <laughs> yes, of course, of course. Yeah. We're, I'm, I'm, but, I'm glad that you're feeling a little bit better. Hopefully the doctor gives you some good news tomorrow. Maybe, I don't know, a different medicine and you'll feel better soon. Yes, I, I think I need uh, antibiotics because mm -hmm. it's the, the symptoms is it's, uh, the same and the throat infection. In oh, the okay. past, and and I think the antibiotics help me uh, because I am a big person, mm -hmm. okay. And the doses, uh, the, the little doses, for example, mm -hmm. seven days is mm, uh, not enough. Oh yes, uh, it's not enough uh -huh. for me. And the doctor uh, in the past, uh, uh, I, he did it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the recipe, I don't know the recipe, mm -hmm. the medicine recipe <laughs> is the the double doses. Oh. The double doses. Yeah. And, but I scared it, uh, when I take uh, when I uh, uh, I scared all antibiotics because uh, Will be provocate the mm -hmm. uh, resistance. Yes. Yes. And and but I don't know. Uh, surely uh -huh. tell me another other mm -hmm. antibiotics. Uh, mm, okay. Okay. Yeah, prescription. Maybe. It's not this recipe. It's re prescription. Prescription. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah, so I, I didn't yeah, I didn't want to I didn't want to interrupt you, but I did want to like let you know. Yeah, so um, let's go. Maybe, maybe go a different maybe a different type of a different type of antibiotic, right? Maybe so you're not because as you were saying, um, you kind of build immunity if you take mm -hmm. too much uh, or too yeah if you take antibiotics for too long. Yes. It, they don't do anything at, at, at a point. So maybe a different kind of antibiotic. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It's, it's important to uh, say the, the, the different doctors, um, right. types of antibiotics uh -huh, used, used in the past. Mm -hmm. Yeah, super mm -hmm. important. I agree. Well, I hope that, that 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 they give you some good news. They give you some some good prescriptions, and that they can, and that you feel better soon, right? I hope that the new medicine can help you feel better as soon as possible, because that's it's just uncomfortable, right? Having a sore throat, having a fever, and all of that. It's just it's uncomfortable more than more than feeling bad. It's just uncomfortable, right? Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Okay. So while we were talking a little bit, I see that uh, more people joined this session. Hello, everyone. We are 16 people now. Mm -hmm. How is everyone doing? Good evening. We were discussing, um, well, First, we were discussing my dog, and then we were discussing some um, sickness symptoms, some COVID symptoms, um, while we were waiting for everyone to join. So now that we're all here, or most of us are here, we, um, I would say that we are ready to start the day. Alrighty. So... Today we are going to go into uh, and also um for those that just joined uh I have my camera off today too due to the same connection. Alejandra, I don't know if my computer or uh, sometimes is that the connection is a uh, lost. Yes, me too. Uh, it's the interruption of your me voice. Too. 
and I, I think, I think was my, my Wi-Fi. Uh -huh. Ah, it's okay. Switched. Okay, let me try to fix that. Give me one moment. You can continue talking if yeah. you want to. I will mm -hmm. be right back. Well, okay. Expert says, uh, expert says that everybody, everybody is sick with COVID. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, it's co it's complicated. Uh, right now, I think uh, many people right now uh, they think, hey, the COVID is is finished, it's the end, but it's not true. Uh, there are many people without masks. Yeah. And for me, it's, 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 a, it's a complicated because the COVID right now uh, yeah. uh, it still is, 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 uh, is exists. Yes. And uh, for, for example, when I'm going out uh, of the restaurant or the other or the store, et cetera, et cetera, all the time I use the alcohol, et cetera, et cetera, my mask, because it's important that the security of, of for us yes because it uh, will be appear many variants different variants mm -hmm. more infections and the people and we we really mm -hmm. really we we are uh, we must um, protect our families and, and our mm -hmm. lifestyle because er, er, everything changed but uh, yeah. the essential things, not mm, uh, uh, like a work or like mm -hmm. a, a fa uh, family meetings, mm -hmm. uh, need the use the mask and yeah. washing the hands mm -hmm. and um, anything, mm -hmm. but. I am yeah. I am a teacher. I need to uh, mm -hmm. talk with my students every day, and mm -hmm. the teenagers uh, mm -hmm. have difficult for maintain the mask on your face currently. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, because, yes. Uh, every moment, hey you, put your mm -hmm. mask on. Uh -huh. uh, what do you uh, think about the vaccine? In everywhere. Yeah, in, yeah, in my work, at yeah. my work, the people don't put the mask. Mm -hmm. And yeah. yes, it's complicated. And they are adults. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. adults. Mm -hmm. I'm in quarantine right now. Really? Oh. really? Yes. All my have... family. All my family. Oh. My parents and my sister. Mm -hmm. Signs. A week ago, ah, okay. almost two weeks, but I I have a low symptoms. Ah, but my parents, okay. yes, but my parents no. My parents fever, uh, headache, uh, it's really bad. Really bad. Mm -hmm. And there are yeah. persons with the, the clinical history is uh, uh, when uh, when have uh, illness or. Uh, yes. Chronic yes. illness is, is illness. dangerous. Yes. yes, my mother has a uh, yes. uh, diabetes. Pressure. Diabetic. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. So uh, she was bad. Uh, oxygen, the, the oxygen is low. Yes, yes. Uh, the oxygen. Yes. Please yes. check she in every moment. But right every now, moment, yes. Check yes. In. yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, but the, but there are there are right now is better than the yeah it's uh, better than the, the last week the last okay. week was okay. the critical yes ah since ago yes yeah, since ago and the it's important important too the drink the 
the a lot of water. <laughs> a lot of water and, yes. and cheese, ginger cheese. cheese. Yes. Yes. Chamomile. Yes. Yes. The chamomile. Yes. Yes. Chamomile. Mm -hmm. yes. Honey. Fruit, mm -hmm. vegetable, because yes. So, yes, it's important. So it well, it well, it well. Mm -hmm. Fruit like a lemon, orange, lemon. Yes. tangerines, tangerines. And, mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And Anna, do you call uh, the emergency system, national emergency system, yes, one yes. three two? Uh, yes. Yeah, yes. It's important because I did it. The, yes. Uh, they, I have my uh, my 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 step in capacidad. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. no, no, it's important. It's yes. more very important. Yes, yeah, very important. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. And mm. and the kid kid have uh, vitamins. And vitamins. Yes. Um, Ivermectin. Ivermectin. Uh -huh. I don't know. I did it. Just minofen. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> uh -huh. Yes, everything. everything. Just um, zinc. Zinc. I uh, I don't take the thing because sick me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, but everything. Yeah. Take all the medicines. Hello. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, can you hear me? Hello. Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Yes. And is it any better? Right now, yes. Yes. Right yes. now. All right. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool, cool. So if I get stuck again, please let me know. Well, okay. I think I was able to hear you having a conversation. You continued the conversation about COVID, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was interesting. It's a big deal right now, COVID yeah. and just trying to stay safe from it. And even if you got it, just trying to pass it, uh, just having the best results possible, right? Trying to be to follow the directions as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And take care of others. Yep, you are absolutely right. I agree with everyone. Since I was um, hearing you talk about, um, you have a lot of vocabulary for health stuff, I guess, because we are <laughs> constantly surrounded by it right now with all the COVID stuff. But um, there is actually, now that we are talking about it, this super cool website, and it's called Quizlet. Let me share mm -hmm. that with you. Mm -hmm. Have you used okay. it before? Okay. No. 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 No, no. All right. I'll put it in the chat. Um, oh, I okay. will send some additional links via WhatsApp because I want to send um, maybe specific vocabulary. This website is super cool um, because let me show you. I'll try to share my screen without it getting stuck. Um, it's something like this. So you have the word and you can, can you see my screen? Yes. yes. All right. Her hereditary. Right, hereditary. So mm -hmm. um, you can see the word. This is health vocabulary. And I, I thought about health because of your conversation, but you can really search for any topic that you want. Um, mm -hmm. And you can see the word and then you can click on the card and you have the definition of the word. Ah, good. So good. it's super, super interesting to learn new vocabulary. The idea really is that when you are studying in this, um, in this type of, of, of system is that, okay, you will get, um, you go to the word, okay, risk behavior. And on your own, you will think, okay, what is risk behavior? And before turning the card, you will try to define it. So, mm -hmm. but maybe mm -hmm. we can do one of these activities tomorrow. I didn't have one prepared, but it's cool, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's super cool. You have different yeah. ways to use it. You have yeah. these flashcards. This is the flashcard mode. You don't need to create an account or anything. You can just use it. You, you don't need to oh. log in. So. Hey, okay. teacher. Hi. 
I just realized that there is um a um, mobile version in in the Play Store. There is, yes. Okay, that's that's cool. It's super cool, yeah, because you don't have to use the website, right? So you can download the app, um, and it has the same um uses and or the same ways to to study the word. So you can use flashcards. You can do the learn system which you will see you start learn and it's kind of like a knowledge check. So you have the question and you have to use, you have to select the correct, um, the correct term that it means. You can do a test, mm -hmm. which you will have a score at the end of the test, uh, or you will have this match uh, mm -hmm. system. In this system, you are timed, you are given you don't you're not giving any amount of time but it will tell you how long you took and mm -hmm. what you have to do is take the word and put it with its definition uh, if it's not correct uh, okay it'll mm -hmm. it'll just uh revert it right so yeah la forma en la que ustedes se les haga más fácil o les sea más entretenido aprender you can you can choose that one so uh, correct. Like, like we said factors the Personally, like that. Right. So, and then you can do, right? You mm -hmm. search uh -huh. for hereditary and what does it mean? And you mm -hmm. put it on top of the definition, right? So, mm -hmm. this one, and it will disappear. Okay. Um, so, maybe I can look for one Quizlet that's related to the things that we've been learning, and we can do one of this tomorrow. Sound good? Okay. Okay. Good. Awesome. All right. And of course, if you want to search for any specific topics for you to learn on your own time, you can. You can do maybe um, office yeah. vocabulary. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Of whatever. Nice. Whatever you're interested. In. Mm -hmm. Okay. There is a lot of stuff here. Mm -hmm. It's great. Mm -hmm. I discovered this website when I started um a job a few years ago and i i think it's it's super great okay all righty thank you very much awesome we'll do one of this tomorrow today okay we left off yesterday with mm -hmm. this conversation as you remember and today we were going to go into suggestions with modals infinitives and questions do you remember what modals are? Mm. Oh, oh, I know, but I don't remember. I don't know how to explain, but I know what this model. <laughs> like well, well, the... modal verb can. Can <laughs> okay. Right. Whatever. Yes. Yeah, sir. Will. Oh. Uh... Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Should, should, should. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. cool, could. That's right. So those are my, my, my. Uh -huh, my. right. Yes, can should, should. Those are all modal verbs or modals, right? Or modal mm -hmm. verbs. Mm -hmm. It's okay if you don't remember the exact word for it. I study before I teach you this, okay? I, I know the things. I don't know maybe the name <laughs> for it. I know these things. It's okay if you don't know the specific name for this. What's mm -hmm. important, it's that you know how to use all of these okay. modal verbs. Yeah. So here we have a review. Okay. Let's go back and take a few minutes before we do... Um, our video about making suggestions. Before we go into that, let's take a moment to remember modal verbs and how to use them and what they are used for, right? So we will have some volunteers read the type, the modal verbs, and then the examples. So can I please have one person read the ability modal verbs with the examples? Me, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Type, ability, modal verbs, can, um, cool, 
examples. David can speak three lang languages. He could speak fluent French when he was five. Thank you so much, Jaime. That's right. So the mm -hmm. ability, modal verbs, it's just they are used to explain things that you are able to do. Valga la redundancia, mm -hmm. right? You are mm -hmm. able to do it, so you can do it or you could do it. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre can and could? Can, como decir, a mí me gusta hacer este ejemplo. Can, de poder, podés, right? Mm -hmm. And could, I, if I wanted to, I could, right? Mm -hmm. So he could speak fluent French when he wants five. Or I could, mm -hmm. if I wanted to, or... I used to be able to do it, right? I was able to at some mm -hmm. point in my life, quizás ya no puedo, mm -hmm. but I could do it. Um, or maybe you could say, I can mm -hmm. speak English. I could speak better English if I practiced more. So, mm -hmm. hay un poquito de if ahí, right? Okay. Who wants to help me do permission modal verbs? Can I? <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> fighting with Alexander. Okay, Roxana, can you do permission? And then Alexander, you can do advice. Okay. okay. Permission. Can, could, and may. Examples. Can I sit in that chair, please? Could I open the window? May I borrow your dictionary? Thank you so much, Roxana. So as you can see, we have could in the ability type, we have mm -hmm. could in the permission type, and we have could mm -hmm. in the possibility. We also have can in the possibility mm -hmm. and ability. They are not specific to one category, right? We can okay. use it for different things. They will mean different things, but they can be used for, uh, let's see the example of could, ability and permission. So if I'm asking a question, can I sit in that chair? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I need to ask first if I can. He can is still the ability. So if they tell you that you can sit there, then I can. And then it becomes ability, right? So mm -hmm. you can use them for different purposes. All right, yeah. Alexander, can you do advice? Okay. Advice. Should. You should visit your dentist at least twice a year. You should try to lose weight. Excellent. That's right. So when providing advice, we mm -hmm. will use should most of yes. the time. We could also say, hey, you could go to the dentist, mm -hmm. but it is not the, as much of a suggestion. It's kind of giving an option. And mm -hmm. the most usual way is should. Yes. But for example, the Francisco, you should visit your medic at least twice a year or, or the next week or tomorrow. <laughs> yes. Right? yes. I tell. I tell. <laughs> you should and you will, which is great. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All righty. Who wants to do obligation? Me. Go ahead. Obligation must have to. I must memorize all these rules about tennis. You have to take off your shoes before you get into the mosque. Excellent. Do you know what the mosque is? Mm -mm. No. This is the mosque. It's a religion temple, the mosque. Oops, I'm sorry. It's la mezquita en español. Oh, it's the, the temple of the Muslims. The temple, mm -hmm. that is right. Yes. Ah, okay. These are the mosques. Okay. Look how beautiful they are. I've never been, yeah. of course, I've never been to one, right? But is there a, is there a, is there a mosque here? Do we have a mosque in El Salvador? Uh, yes, I visit, I was visit the mosque in Santa Ana. Oh. Really? 
Y yeah, es, Santa Ana más. Eh, by the way, the, uh, the person was found, the uh, Islamic community in El Salvador was uh, Dr. Armando Bukele. Oh, the president's oh. dad. Yes. He was a the very smart dad. man, I hear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. I didn't know that Francisco <laughs> is bringing us all of the interesting facts. That's yeah. fun. <laughs> interesting facts, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, do, do, you, do you want to give the class or? That, <laughs> that's super. No, that's super interesting. Thank you so much for sharing. I didn't know that. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Me too. I didn't know. All right, guys. So we do have a mosque in El Salvador. That's cool. All righty. Yes. Thank you so much, Francisco. So must or have to, you need to do it, right? For example, Francisco, you must go to your doctor. Mm -hmm. All righty. Yeah. And the last one, who wants to do possibility? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Possibility. Might, may, could, can. It looks nice, but it might be very expensive. Richard may be coming to see us tomorrow. Thank you, Katya. So you could do it, right? It may happen. It may not happen, but it's a possibility. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Do we understand how modal verbs are used? Or are we clear in this? Does anyone have any questions or doubts, observations? I have a question. Yeah. Yes. Um... I'd like to know if there is or, or, or exists uh, some difference between must and have to. Uh, so in order to make a, or, or, or use it in a suitable, in a suitable situation, one of them, I, I'm not sure if, if, if there is a, a, a peculiarity or a difference to, to use them. Excellent question, Sergio. And I just want to take a moment to congratulate your choice of words. You sound so professional. That's great. All right. So mm -hmm. yes, actually, there is a slight difference. So must tends to be more, number one, it tends to be more professional. And then number two, if you were to put these two words in like a scale of importance or urgency, you mm -hmm. would do must, and then you would do have to. So if I tell you, you must go mm -hmm. to the doctor, and then you have to, um, I don't know, pay, pay your bills, whatever, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Se comprende que what you must do is the most important. So there is a difference right here. Yes, indeed, excellent question. So two differences. Must is a lot more, um, maybe a lot more formal. And also must puts um, more urgency into the sentence. So if you must do something, it's it needs to be done more than something that you have to do. Does thank that you. help? Thank you, thank you, teacher. It's clear. Awesome. Excellent. Any other uh, observations, questions of any kind? Cool sees. So I wanted to do that review on modal verbs because I was sure that you guys remembered uh, them, but we tend to forget what modal verbs are. We know what they are, we just forget the name of them. So now that we've done a little review, Okay. Um, I think we are good and safe to continue reviewing the suggestions part of it. We will use modals for suggestions. We will use infinitives. Um, and then we can also use gerunds. Whoops, can you hear Bobby? <laughs> yeah. All right, so we are right on time. I will mute myself and we will start by watching the video. <laughs> There are many ways to make suggestions. 
Grab a pen and paper and take notes. Remember, you may play the audio program and the explanation as necessary. Making suggestions with gerunds. What about looking through the personal ads? Have you thought about joining an online dating service? With infinitives. It might be a good idea to check out those discussion groups at the bookstore. One thing you could do is go to a discussion group at the bookstore. One thing you could do is to go to a discussion group at the bookstore. With modals plus verbs. Maybe you could go to a chat room on the internet. With negative questions. Why don't you join a dating service? Making suggestions is not difficult. You just need to remember which forms to go together. Follow me. Making suggestions or giving advice. Number one, how about, what about, have you thought about, plus gerund. Number two, it might be a good idea. One thing you could do is, plus infinitive. Number three, maybe you could, plus base form of the verb. Number four, why don't you, plus base form of the verb. These are my... Alrighty, so let's go back for a moment to our initial examples, right? So when we are making suggestions, we can use either gerunds, infinitives, sorry about the noise. Mm -hmm. We can use gerunds, infinitives, modals with verbs, and we can also, uh, if we want to, use it with negative questions. So why don't you join a dating service? Hey, why don't you, um, if you want to learn how to swim, why don't you take swimming lessons, mm -hmm. right? With modal, uh, using modal verbs plus another verb, so could is the modal verb and then go is the additional verb. Maybe you could go to a chat room. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't really need to be maybe. You could use any other words, right? Or you don't really need to use uh, maybe or perhaps. You could just say, hey, um, you could go to a chat room on the internet. You could benefit from, oh my God, that's too much noise. One moment. All right, moving on. Sorry about that. Okay. So if we were to look at other modal verbs, we don't really need to use specifically could. Because you could say maybe, hey, you can go to um, your attorney for more information on that, right? You could go, you can go, you may go, you should go, right? We can use different mm -hmm. modals. Uh, for this specific type of making suggestions. We can do it with infinitives, que ya sabemos que es to plus the base form of the verb. So to check out, to uh, go uh, running. It might be a good idea to read more about it. It might be a good idea to get some additional information. You could also, and we can also combine them all together, right? Hey, 
maybe you could um, maybe you could try to get a counselor. Mm -hmm. And we are using a modal verb could and try to as the infinitive. Okay. And we can use the gerunds. Ya sabemos que los gerunds son the verb ending in ing. Mm -hmm. So what about looking through the personal ads? Have you thought about joining a program? What if you go to, uh, what if you start going to classes to learn more about it, right? Any questions with this so far? Con las cuatro maneras que tenemos on how to make suggestions? No, no. Alrighty. So then in that case, if no one has additional questions on this four ways on how to make suggestions, we can also go into the knowledge check and review about it. For this section, we have two knowledge checks. Well, okay. actually we have one knowledge check and then we have one reading exercise, which we will complete together. Okay. We will start by doing the knowledge check. For the knowledge check, we have five, six questions. I think one's duplicate. No. So we have six questions together. We have different uh, answers. And we will choose the one that applies the most. What is the best suggestion for that answer? So how would you help the person asking this question? Okay. So number one. Who wants to help me read number one? Maybe participate in more social activities. All righty. So, um, but uh, what I would like to do is that you also read the question. So whoever oh. wants to read. Uh, so for example, Alexander, can you go okay. ahead and start with number one? Okay. Okay. How can I build self-confidence? Nice. All right. So what does everyone think? What is the best suggestion to build self-confidence? Participating more social activities. The one he said. Yeah. Participating in more social activities? Yes. That's the show. All righty. Who wants to read number two? I want to. Uh, what could help me be happier? And what does everyone think that could help this person be happier? Plan for activities. Yeah. Look forward to every, to every week. Fun activities to look forward to every week. All righty. Let's see. Let's uh, meet. I'm sorry. What's the meaning of peeved? Peeved. All right. So try not to get peeved about little things. Try not to get bummed down about little things. Try not to get upset by little things or about little things. Molestar. Mm -hmm. Oh, bajonearse por ahí. All righty. Who wants to help me read number three? Me. How can I lose weight? Cut down on calories. Cut down, down on calories. <laughs> okay, cut down on calories. Who wants to do number four? I think one person got cut off right there. So you can go ahead and read number four. What can I do to save money? Come up with a budget. Yes, come up with a budget. Nice. All right. Coming up with a budget. So you know exactly how you're going to spend your money. Mm -hmm. Who wants to do number five? How can I improve my memory? Thank you. 
And how do you think this person can improve their memory? Play concentration games. Nice. Concentration games, such as what? What concentration games do you know? Uh, singing. Chess. <laughs> yeah. Puzzles. Nice. Puzzles. Puzzles, Sudoku, chess. Oh, Those are all good. Memory card. Memory, right. That's great. Alrighty. And finally, number six. Who wants to read number six? <laughs> How can I get along with my roommate better? All right. Try not to get peeved about a little thing. Try not to get peeved about little things. Okay. Let's review. Mm -hmm. And you are absolutely right. So before we go into our reading exercise, does anyone have any questions on this knowledge check? Any vocabulary or a question? Just really, I don't understand the PV. What mean PV? I, I don't understand the last one. So, last, how can one? I get along with my roommate better? Try um, not to get peeved get about peeved. little things. Try not to get upset or try not to get picky. Try not to get bummed about little things. Molestarse, enojarse. Kind of like that. So, exactly. peeved, it, it's a very light word. It's not really being angry. No es tanto como estar enojado o enfurecido, sino más bien como picarse por cosas, right? Oh. Por okay. uh, so, for example, y una forma mm -hmm. en la que ustedes lo pueden encontrar es que alguien les puede decir, I have a huge pet peeve about... Uh, what mm, leaving dirty dishes, right? Y esto mm -hmm. significa que esa persona le da, ay, como le da ñañara o le da cosa, mm -hmm. tener, yeah, le, is... le molesta, right? Mm -hmm. Que quede en los dirty dishes. So mm -hmm. if you're mm -hmm. peeved about it, it means that it upsets mm -hmm. you. It's, you're not going to get furious, pero te incomoda, right? Yes, I, I, know, I, want per, I know I want person. <laughs> All righty. My so wife. that's what it means. Perfect. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big problem. <laughs> okay. All right. Any other questions that you could have about this knowledge check? All righty. In that case, I think we are good to start with our reading exercise for today. Our reading exercise today is named Improve Your Memory, Improve Your Life. Okay. And we will start. Let me make this a little bit bigger so you can read it better. And I will go with uh, the people that, that I have in the participants. Whoever wants to participate, you can read the section that I will be highlighting. So I'm going to start in order. Let's start by reading this green section right here, please, Bonnie. Have you ever been in Vera? because you forget something important what kind of things do you have the most trouble remembering thank you so much bunny so readings are great because you get to practice and also we get to review pronunciation of words mm -hmm. so i will highlight the words that i just want to review so that we can practice them and improve on the pronunciation this word is pronounced embarrassed. Embarrassed. Okay. Embarrassed. Okay. All righty. Thank you so much, Bunny. Thank you. Let's please continue with this section, Anna Godine. Mark began to introduce the guest speaker to the audience. 
but then started in order. He had forgotten her name. Thank you so much, Anna. All righty. So we'll review this section right here. But then paused. This is a T pronunciation. So the pronunciation of the ED is kind of like a T, as in tomato. So paused. Paused. In horror. Remember, in English, we pronounce, we pronounce the letter H. So horror. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. Let's continue with Ana Pineda this time. Barbara hid her jewelry when she went on vacation. Wait. When she came back, she couldn't remember where he, what she put it. Thank you so much. She couldn't remember where she put it. So just mm -hmm. remember, this is hid. If oh, we hid. say hide, this is hide mm -hmm. and this is hid. Hid oh. is the past tense of hide. Okay. Thank you so much. All righty. Can we please continue with Asta, Asta forgetting, please, Asta Key. Mm -hmm. Who? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who do I have next? Aime, please. Hello, Aime, are you around? There okay. she goes. Sorry. <laughs> One, perhaps you've had experiences like this. Most people have. And what's worse, most people have resigned themselves to a life of forgetting. Thank you so much, Aime. That is right. They have resigned themselves to a life of forgetting. Alexander, can we continue with the rest of the paragraph? Okay. They're aware of a simple but important fact. Memory can be developed. If you just accept the fact, this book will show you how. Thank you so much, Alexander. Let's highlight this word. This is pronounced unaware. Okay, unaware. Exactly. That's perfect. Unaware. Unaware. Okay. They were unaware, so they didn't know, right? Okay. Unaware. All righty. Let's continue here, please. Up until concentrate. Um, Francisco, please. Where is the meaning of unaware? Unaware means that you don't know. So if you are aware of something, if you are aware, it means that you know. No, enterado, that you yeah. are informed of, that you know of something, that you are informed of something. So, if you're unaware, it's el contrario de aware, right? So, you are not informed, not, you don't know about it. So, you have no way of knowing. That's what it means. Mm -hmm. All righty. Let's continue, Francisco. Okay, number two. First, relax. If you're over anxious about remembering something, you'll forget it. Relaxing will enhance your awareness and ability to concentrate. Thank you so much, Francisco. Let's go back to this word right here. This word is pronounced enhance. 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 And it means to improve. Okay. To enhance. make better. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So in a, maybe in a work meeting, you could say, hey, we need to enhance our procedures mm -hmm. that we do here at work. So to make better, to improve. Mm -hmm. All righty. And the next uh, word? Awareness? Yes. All righty. So we just talked about being aware. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we yeah, also talk about unaware. 
What do you think awareness is? Consciente. Estar consciente de eso. Exacto. Being conscious of it. About something. Estar al tanto de algo. Estar consciente de una información o de un conocimiento. En este caso, relaxing will enhance your awareness. Estamos hablando de awareness en general. So it will improve your overall awareness de tus alrededores, de tu vida, etc. Mm. Tipo lo del yoga. No, no sé. <laughs> All righty. Okay. Let's continue, please, this section and starting with take. Um, who do I have next? Ivania, please. Take deep breath and tell yourself that you have all the time in the world to remember. Perfect. Thank you so much, Ioania. Let's continue, please. Up until things. We'll stop at when. Um, please, let's see. Juan Jose. <clears throat> okay. Second, avoid begin negative if you keep telling yourself that your memory is bad. Your mind will come to believe, believe it and you won't remember things. Remember things? Exactly. Thank you so much, Jose. That is right. And you won't remember things if you're being negative. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's continue starting with when here. And this section right here, please. Um, I want to move this a little bit. No sé si lo pueden ver ahí. Yes. Okay. We go. It's better. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. <laughs> so let's continue, please. Um, Katia, starting here at when, and all of this. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you forget something, don't say, hey, I need to have my brain review. Review. <laughs> right? Jokes like these are negative and will have a negative effect on you and you on you and your memory. Thank you so much, Katya. So this word is pronounced rewired. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank wire. you. And rewired means, well, wiring some, do you know what a wire is? No. A wire, uh, see? ¿sí? Es como alambrado. Exactly. Es como un cable. Un, un wire es un cable eléctrico. Right? So, um, when we're talking about your brain, rewiring mm -hmm. we're talking about um your brain connections and all of that it, it's an expression right having your uh -huh. brain wires Neur ne neurons rewire exactly exactly so um that's what it means okay so if you have it rewired like they're saying that you need to fix your brain that, that's what the expression mm -hmm. means okay all right just see now <laughs> yep Yep, yep, yep. And then this G right here, um, it's kind of also an expression with when 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 people say, "Oh my God, Jesus!" Right? So they say G instead of Jesus, because mm -hmm. okay. sometimes it's disrespectful to use the full name for some people. So they say G. Mm -hmm. All righty. Let's continue until memory. We'll stop at memory, please, Leymar. To improve your memory, you'll need to take an active role. Like your body, your memory can be strengthened through exercise. Look for opportunities to exercise your memory. Thank you so much, Leymar. This word is a difficult word. This word is pronounced. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this word is pronounced strengthen. Strengthen. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. That's right. That's exactly right. Strengthen. Mm -hmm. um, Puede ser reforzado. That's what it means. It can be strengthened. Can you repeat it, please? 
Yes, it can be strengthen. So, esta strengthen. sección, exacto, that's right. Esa sección en el medio, uh, it almost, you, you almost don't pronounce it, right? So, strengthen. So, strength, you have strength, fuerza, and then reforzarlo, right? So, strengthen. But the other words that finish with, uh, like, a, there are there are other words that finish with H E N E D. No, because oh. that. Mm -hmm. uh, no, this is, this word is just very difficult. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Yeah, this word is just very. Oh my God, man! Oh, sure. Exactly. Yeah, that's right, Lima. All right, guys. So it is 9 p.m. Time flew by. So already 9 p.m. So we will continue with this reading tomorrow and we'll do the exercise tomorrow for the reading. Um, mm -hmm. And I'll see you tomorrow. We'll finish section four tomorrow, all right? Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. Bye. 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 B